つむき笑うその頬を伝う涙一粒。What's up, YouTube? It's Killer B, bringing you an undercard stack profile of my gut format deck. Now, this deck is more, you know, not exactly goats and whatnot, but, you know, cards that you can play in good format. Now, I was inspired by, you know, with the, what's that, the release of Link Summoning to try to go back and play goats. Because, you know, sometimes at my locals, I see some guys playing. Goats for fun, decided, you know what, I have the cards, when I make a go deck. So, for the deck profile, we're going to start off. One, BLS. This is the, um, gold version. Yeah, it's basically it's pretty standard for, um, gut format. One, Jinzo, to lock out traps. One, uh, Mobius, to, you know, get rid of spell and traps. One, Summon Skull. Which, you know, that's more like Yugi Kaiba format, but I was like, hey, the cards are still legal, and a level 6, 25 beer, it's pretty good. Vampire Lord, you know, to be a vampire. <laughs> Air Knight Parshat. Because, you know, I can, you know, plus cards off of it. One Voice Raider. Uh, 19 beer. You know, not a lot of level 4s could get over it, like... You know, Burger Gorilla, Triple Legend, 18 Beater, works well with, you know, the concept of the deck. One, Neo the Magic of Swordsman, this is a Spanish copy I got a couple years ago, so I like the Spanish copy. One, DD Assailant, because, you know, Assailant. One, Morphing Jar, to, you know, draw cards. One, Man Eater Bug, to get rid of the cards. Controls. And for the last monster, we have Sinister Serpent. Luckily, I managed to get this card through a trade. You know, it was traded in a bundle. So, alright. Now, on to the traps. We have one Torture Tribute. You know, he left Corn decides to bust out something problematic. Two Sakura Retro Armor. You know, you're gonna attack me, get rid of it. Magical Cylinder to burn them. One Mirror Force. One Trap Dust Shoot. No. So they have recurring cards. No. So they're cards in hand. One Bottomless. And one Call of the Haunted. That's a pretty small trap, but that's not what the deck is designed to do. Now, after spells, we have Triple Soul Exchange, which, you know, play this. You know, summon, let's say, Mobius. You know. I mean, I get the battle phase, but... That's still worth it. Alright. One Pot of Greed. Just basic standard. Two Scapegoat. You know, to defend myself. My tech is Ectoplasma. It basically forces my opponent and myself to tribute monsters. And so, if I go first and get this in hand, you know, boom. Already put some damage on board. One heavy storm, basic. We are that we stand because this is more of a beatdown variant. One nobleman of cross out. No, even though I don't play, you know, lots of flip monsters, it's the likelihood of me getting, you know, burned by this effect is very slim. Card destruction. No, again, a way to get cards into my hand. One book of moon. Because, you know, Book of Moon. And this is the Platinum variant that I was just given free. One MST. One Premature Burial. Two um, Reinforcement. One Megamorph. And finally, Snatch Steel. Now, I've personally only been playing this deck at, you know, kind of, not even local, just, you know, for my friends and such. And I pretty like it. I like it. It's pretty good. Now, yeah. So, in time to tell you like my tech choices. So I know some people really want to play Soul Exchange. 
because, you know, battle phase and whatnot, but, yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice a battle phase to put a huge body on board. Alright, this has been Killer B, doing an undercard stack profile of a good format deck, and, uh, hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out.